We are back. Okay, it was the longest week ever, but we have finally made it. Okay, Gear 5, and I'm legitimately honored to be a part of this event. Okay, I hope you all understand that this is a historic moment, not just for anime, but in animation for media as a whole. Okay, and I'm legitimately, it is a privilege to be able to experience it in real time with you all. I, I just can't imagine the next time the hype is going to be so big for a moment like this okay personally my favorite gear for getting into it has honestly been gear second there's just something about like the steam and like the red skin tone that just looks super cool to me and the rest of them are all super amazing but i'm just so hyped to see if this is going to be able to surpass not just gear five not just gear second in my head but my expectations as a whole and so let's see what he has to offer us let's get into it The drums, the music of freedom, of liberation right here. Oh, look at all those battleships. I kind of forgot that Wano is, like, under seas right now, almost. Let's go, Zo! Ooh. Unique. It looks like a galaxy. <laughs> Oh, Kaido's still not done wreaking havoc. Luffy looks pretty, like, liquidy. Oh my gosh. Check in with everyone. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh, his hair. Yeah, it's just white. So Luffy doesn't even know what's happening. Look at him wobbling like that. It's like he's taking a page from Kaido's drunken technique. Oh. Well, it wasn't the first time. Look at all that hockey leaking out of him. So are Yamato and Momo like already familiar with Joy Boy? Luffy has the most infectious laughter. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's just overflowing the power. Oh, cut away. One classic One Piece fashion. Rio sensed it. Well, that makes sense. Marco. Oh, oh they're so happy. <laughs> what a cool shot. Oh, are we about to see the old heads? <laughs> yeah, they've been like trying to prevent this whole. They've been trying to prevent this whole thing, right? One of my absolute favorite things about Oda, about this sheer talent as a writer, is the fact that the, we are still still unveiling mysteries, and we had no idea that the gum gum fruit was anything more than like a very, I don't know, like on paper lackluster seeming fruit. Or, oh, so was Joy Boy the last one to possess it? Oh my God. Ooh, backstory, background. The human, human fruit. See, we're still learning things. Oh, gotta be careful the way you say that. Oh. But I had seen this fruit described as being very cartoony, and the way he's like bouncing around like that. And I feel like it's perfect for, honestly, at this time, for all the Western animators who are very used to that sort of cartoony animation style to be working on this. Ah, perfect timing, perfect transformation. Oh, how does Oda come up with all these cool names? That's my Nika! Oh, what a power stance. Oh my gosh. This it has like the same thing I kind of like about Gear, or Gear uh, Second, like that steam and... <laughs> I like how this is just having a very, providing that very calm atmosphere in an otherwise extremely hype moment. How oh, is Orochi like still alive? Why isn't she off him yet? 
<laughs> You'll do anything to survive. It's so satisfying seeing him squirm like the little bug he is. <laughs> Hiyori coming out with the flashback receipts. As interesting as this is, I knew they'd make us wait. I feel like they're going to make us wait to the end to see anything that Gear 5 does. Hiyori was such a daddy's girl. Hmm, that didn't age well. I do not care about Orochi! But I do care about Hiyori, so... Wano is really just like... The land of honor. That's the best word to describe this place. You're so pathetic. What a loser. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, I forgot about the little blob thing. Is that Kanjiro? I honestly have totally forgotten what this thing is. <laughs> Give me a hug! Oh! Oh my god. Like, as satisfying as that was, as satisfying as that was, I really wanted Hiyori to be the one to finish him off, but, like, I guess there's something poetic about him being his own undoing. Hey! He's like a spring. He <laughs> literally is, like, something out of, like, Looney Tunes. Oh. Him saying this is his peak, like, that really makes him feel like we're in the end game. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess... Sanji? Oh! Okay, never gonna guess that. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, it's so trippy. <laughs> Even the ground is Luffy like. Is Luffy like affecting the texture of the ground? Even the sound effects are cartoony. Boing, boing. Like it literally feels like I'm watching Animaniacs. He's so impressed by himself. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't even know what he can do. Oh my gosh. Luffy just existing is a hockey explosion. Oh, CGI. This looks like a video game. Kind of looks like a video game character. And now it's, now he's not CGI. It's so jarring, honestly. <laughs> just you wait and see. <laughs> he just grabs him. <laughs> Loopy said, yoink! Oh! <laughs> this is by far the most cartoony episode. Go, oh, Chopper! Oh my gosh. He just. Now he's buff Loopy! <laughs> I know, it's just so confused. <laughs> oh my gosh. Luffy's got like super strength. <laughs> I love that move so much. <laughs> oh, is this like a. I forgot, is this like a remix of that one OST? Overtaken? Oh my gosh. I know the animators had to have a blast working on this. Luffy. 
Luffy's so, he's like a child. He's like a child on like mega steroids. My favorite MC, my, oh God, I love this boy. I need my baby for this historic moment. <laughs> I feel like they just like Googled like cartoon sound effects. Oh. Is Luffy just gonna tank it? Someone count for me, like, how many cartoon side sound effects there's been. Like, ten so far. <laughs> ah! Oh! What is so interesting about this fight to me is that I have absolutely no idea what's even going on. I'm sure they planned it that way. It just makes it even that more of a spectacle. Lupin, look! We're watching Peak! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that was a sweet montage. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I needed those. Jesus, Papa's sweaty. Oh, I am kind of sweaty. <laughs> Going too hard here. Okay, it's too hard. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh, this animation is so freaking crisp. This is it. Oh, this is it. This is everything. Eleven sound effects. <laughs> I feel like I'm not very familiar with like every single Japanese cartoon. But I feel like I wonder what shows, like if, what like for, foreign shows for them they watch to take inspiration for this. I've never seen something like this in an anime ever, ever. <laughs> ah! Like I, we, I. I, I <laughs> All of the mysteries surrounding Gear 5 have just continued to pile up more and more. And Oda, Oda, I really think that Oda is going to go down as like a master historic storyteller, right? Like the way that we are so deep into the lore and we are still learning things about our protagonist. What other show is doing it like that? What other, what other mangaka is doing it like Oda? I swear. It really legitimately like just makes me honored to even be able to witness and watch like what I consider to be the greatest show ever to be created, possibly the greatest show to ever be created in real time. I I don't care if this broke the internet. I don't care if Crunchyroll crashed. I just all that it's just oh. I just love this show so much. Like, the way that this show, like, just continues to blow my mind, like, time after time. I just can't. Oh. Okay, but anyways, yeah, I've seriously never seen an anime animated like that before. All the sound effects and, like, the liquidy animation. Like, it literally felt like, it literally felt like what One Piece would be if it was from America. I cannot wait to see more of this i didn't even think we would get to see gear 5 in action honestly like once once they cut to hiori and orochi and and all the crew the rest of the crew like i really thought it would i really thought we were just getting reaction shots for the next like 15 minutes but they are really are just doing an amazing job just showing us like the scope of this ability and i feel like we have just only touched the iceberg okay i am absolutely in awe of what they have been bringing us movie week after week Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did, and I will see y'all next time.